Hello, in this tutorial, we're going over add an introduction to Illustrator. Um, like I talked about before, Photoshop uses uh, raster images. In Illustrator, we have to use, um, it creates vector images with lines and shapes. Raster images are made up of squares, okay? And so this is an introduction. This is a kind of an example, and then I can refer to this and kind of show you. Um, I'm going to go over some differences between the Illustrator. Okay, so to sum up, um, the main differences with Illustrator is that you have a um, inside the D center here. In Photoshop, it will be foreground background, but it's not. In Illustrator, it's the inside color, which is called a fill, and the outside, like the outline, is called a stroke. So you got a fill and a stroke. So this will be fill, the red. And the green would be a stroke. Okay, so that's Illustrator. And basically, all you're gonna need is this uh, black arrow tool. If it's actually in a column like this, then you make you can make it two columns like this. And definitely, again, like you have to make sure your control bar is visible, because that's uh, one of the bars I, I, where it's gonna change. And also, um, make sure uh, this is set to um, Essentials Classic here. Okay, it's got this here. Okay, and this is the layers to bar that I might be going to actually to. Okay, so to far off, we're actually gonna, you'll need to uh, go back to Canvas, right? And this is the Shapes and Illustrator assignment. I'm gonna go to my student view so I can show you what you see. And basically, it's, it's nothing there. So I'm creating this video that you're gonna show up. It's gonna be right here below this, below the video, exactly. So this is a tutorial project the interest is illustrator, so I want you to create exactly what I'm showing you in this video. So I will, then want you to do your own. I want you to do the exact video I'm showing you because I, there's some specific things I want you to learn, okay? Um, so you need to actually open up Illustrator, and it's right here, just click on the window, and Adobe Illustrator, you might have to scroll down a little bit, Adobe Illustrator, I already have it open. So what I'm gonna do is click on File, and new here okay so this will come up on yours and then i uh, can just click print and you can click letter size and so we're going to change it and there it shapes okay. and just change this to inches here it's already set to eight i have eight and a half by eleven like a sheet of paper here and then click create and it's going to blank sheet of paper i'm going to maybe go back to this as an example to show you okay so the first off, we have kind of the most basic tool. One of the most basic tools is the shape tool. And this is really important because a lot of images are made up of basically shapes and lines. So learning how to create a shape is real important. So we're going to start with the clicking and dragging and creating a rectangle. Okay. So then we have that rectangle. Then we actually have to mix and change to it. So we want the stroke color, which is the outline color of this outline here. Uh, it's called the stroke, and we need the stroke to be eight points. So that makes that width basically. And this is the stroke color, and this is the fill color. Okay. So the stroke color, we can leave it. Let's see, we made it um, green. Yeah. So I make it green here. So this is actually the stroke color, or you can actually go to the uh, swatches here. Uh, we'd learned actually in Photoshop, you can double click on and make this actually in front. This is active here, and this is uh, having to fill be active, okay? Whichever's in front here. So I can double click on this, and it brings up this color picker just like Photoshop. But I'm letting you know Illustrator is, um, there's something that's really a lot more um, useful is using swatches here, because then as the exact color, and you can use it the exact color every single time. It's an easy way to choose that. So you can come up here to, um, I'm just drag this down into the screen here, okay? As the exact color. And what you're gonna do then is go to the fill color. If you don't have to mess with these, you can actually click on fill and click on this red here. It's got the same thing. So you can see how like, this is the same thing as this, okay? Uh, so we got a fill color. It's going to be red, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's going to be red. So now we're going to create another um, 
shape, it's going to be a rectangle. So we're going to actually do is hold down the shift key and they're going to draw the shape. It's going to make you force you to actually, if you let go of the shift key, you can actually do whatever shape you want to, but hold down the shift key. And this is going to be very important. And a lot of things we're going to actually hold down the shift key and it creates a shape here, but it creates a shape exactly like we did the one, but now we need to modify it because this shape needs to be black outline with a blue fill or black stroke with a blue fill. So we just change it to black outline and then with a blue fill. So it changes to blue. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, now we're actually going to use the ellipse tool. Okay, and so you can click and hold this down and grab the ellipse tool. And you're going to draw an ellipse. Okay, uh, but these need to be uh, four points. So you think it's a little bit thinner line here. And this one going to be black uh, with an orange okay so it's still black um, and you're going to change this to orange okay so it's the fill color and it's going to be the orange here okay and now we're going to do and actually create another ellipse but this one we're going to hold that shift key just like we did the square so you're going to hold that shift key and create a oh, sorry messing up click on the shift key and hold it down and grab a circle okay and then what you're going to do now is it's, it's just like our ellipse earlier, but this is a circle. Now I'm going to click on the gradient tool. If this is not shown up, you need to actually make sure that you have your properties set up. Okay. And then uh, your swatches, stuff like that, you know, okay. They should be shown there. It's one of the basic things. So you're going to go to your gradients tool and it's got this gradients here. And what you're going to do is change this to gradient to orange and yellow and it's preset to be oh I'm sorry I messed it up so this might happen actually so I my stroke is actually in front so that's why my stroke is actually the gradient here but I need to change the stroke to black and then I need to make this active I'm sorry doing this again click on this once and it makes the fill color be in front so that way when I change the gradient to orange yellow that you know changes the gradient there the gradient is actually going from yellow to orange there so i'm going to create another one another lips we're going to hold down the shift key and i'm going to draw it another lips there but this one i'm actually going to click on it's the same gradient but i'm going to change it to a this is a linear gradient i'm going to change it to radial gradient so i've got a radial gradient tool okay now i'm going to go back to this example here um, let's see here. It's example. Okay. A polygon and triangle. Okay. So now we're going to actually hold this down and grab the polygon tool. So it's a default to actually draw from the middle. So you're going to draw from the middle, but you're going to hold the shift key and it makes it. But this has eight sides. So we need to click on the down arrow key and make it have five sides. Now we got, you know, and then hold down the shift key again. And you want to create this polygon. Okay. And this can go back up to this can say four four. Okay. And like you see out the there, we're just gonna brown with a gradient fill. So the um, stroke color can be brown, like you choose a brown, but the inside color needs to actually be a gradient. So you're gonna choose swatches here. You're gonna choose the gradient swatch library. And we're going to go into gradients and we're going to choose a metal right here. And then we're going to go down to uh, this one that says copper. So you can see there, just hovering over. And I click in there and then actually that fill is in front of the of the stroke. So I'm editing the fill color. So this is copper now. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to create a triangle here. So it's going to be now polygon again. And we're actually going to click and drag out. I'm still holding down my mouse. And what I can do is actually hit the down arrow key to actually three sides. Hold the shift key again to create a triangle here. And now we need to actually make it uh, silver with the metal. Okay. So this is going to be a stroke color in front, right? So the stroke color is going to be just like choose a gray, different really amount of the gray, but the fill color, click on that once and it's got a fill color in front. 
And now I need to go back to the gradients, I'm sorry, the swatches, and the um, library, choose gradients, and then go to metals again. Now this one needs to be a steel color. So you need to hover over these, you know, as much you need to define the one that says steel. And that's going to be inside color, okay? And so if you want to turn that in, that would actually get you a 95. If you want to get up to a 105, um, you can do um, the following steps here. So we're going to actually create a stop sign, and like our uh, eight-sided polygon, and a star here, and then my name, or your name, I guess. So we're going to actually create a, another polygon. Okay, so we're going to start drawing out a polygon. We're going to hit the up arrow key. So it's three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. And it's all the shift key again to create it like a polygon. I mean, an octagon. Okay. But we're going to change this to um, blue with a red. So we need to change it to blue as a stroke color. And this needs to be a fill color. It needs to be red. Okay. Pretty simple. Straightforward. Um, so now I'm going to click on just the black arrow too. I'm going to make some room, right? Except for my name and stuff like that. So, so now we're going to create some text, okay? And we're going to click down here. We're going to change our text size to maybe uh, 48, okay? I'm going to type in my name, Mr. Okay. And then I have to do these things too. So I can change uh, my my font size, but I kind of like the Mary Pro. I'm just gonna leave it like it is. Okay. But what I'm gonna do is text is default to have no strokes, so no outline color. But I'm gonna make it have an outline color. So I'm gonna choose the color because this is a gradient and none. So if I don't want anything, I choose none. If I want a gradient, I use gradient. If I want a color, I choose color. So it's got a black fill with a black stroke. Okay. What I want to do here is I'm going to leave it at one for my, um, oh, I need to highlight first. I'm sorry. So highlight it because it didn't make those changes. Now I need to make it fill, have a fill. So it gets a little thicker here. And then I need to go back to the, uh, I'm sorry, the stroke color is, is black. Now the fill color, I want it to be, uh, like maybe a yellow color. And then you can click off of here and you can see that this is a black outline with a yellow inside. Okay. And now the last step I need to do is actually create a star. Okay. So we're creating a star tool. And so you, it's nothing, uh, it's not required a certain number of points, but if you're going to create more points up arrow and the down arrow is less points, right? So just draw out a star. I'm actually going to click on this black arrow tool, the selection tool, move that up so I have some room for my star here. Okay. I click back on the star here, and I need to actually make that uh, the stroke. Actually, the stroke needs to be green. Um, so I'm going to make the stroke here. I'm going to make it green, but I'm going to change it to. It needs to be larger, so I'm going to change it to four points here, and then the inside color. I have it in front here, so I need to have the fill color in front, and I choose a gradient. I'm sorry, stroke. Sorry for that. Swatches, and this one I'm going to do a pattern. I'm going to do a nature pattern. This fly out comes up, and then I need a little close middle. Sorry, and then um, patterns, nature, and uh, pattern, nature, and nature, animal skins. This thing comes up, and I want to choose uh, the one that says PR. Okay, so I think other ones, so make sure it says PR. And that means inside here is actually the pick out color. Okay, so that will finish up uh, this assignment. So, what you're going to do is now turn it into Canvas. So, you click File, you're going to save as. You're not going to change the file type before, so you need to be saved as, as a Adobe Illustrator. So, we're going to save in our number, our ID folder like maybe a TRK or something like that, you know, and find your folder and save there. I'm just going to save and download, that's fine. But you can see, like, all my Illustrator files will be in there. So I click Save. 
yes, we want to save that. Say OK. And then I can go back to my Canvas assignment here, and I can turn it in. So click Start, Upload, and Choose. And I want to go back and find my shapes, wherever that's. Maybe it's my ID folder. I'm not sure. Shapes Illustrator.ai, and choose Open, and then Submit. Okay. And that finishes this project.